work to petrify moments in time. Capture an emotion. Allow others to process it through their senses so that we, the artists, may relive a moment in our lives through you, strangers. In our universe, there is no need for prayer, for we are the designers, the blind watchmakers, perfecting our cogs, gears, and mechanisms to enable strangers to speak of time. A time where seconds felt like minutes, where divinity is felt through creativity, and lenses and syllables produce metaphorical incandescent power to illuminate epiphany, to incense intellection, and to inspire. We may not share common ancestry, vernacular, cuisine, but we all have a blood type, one that feverishly courses through our veins and tissue, seeking a point of respiration. We course through our lives on a similar journey, but often with nearsighted ambition, myopic goals, with timelines the distance of sitcoms, suffocated beneath the smog of talking heads, incessant communication, and misanthropic opinions, immersed in sentiments of sediment, foundationless silt, with no point of respiration. So we implore you, seek solace in artists. May these works be with you and also with you. We lift up our arts. We lift them up as we are lords. Let us give thanks to our works of art. It is right to give them thanks and praise. The men and women that spin cultures counterclockwise, piercing the monotony of cellophane wrapped mundanity, where carpenters sought and sand new periodic tables of emotion where no element is inert, only reactive, where artists place their vulnerabilities on a crucifix for you to either lodge a spear into or worship. Let us be your gods, your saviors, or maybe you think us not divine, but I promise that far more have wept in your Savior's name than they ever have from paint, photography, or rhyme, but that's not what we want to be. So what do we want to be? What we want to be is the painting on Einstein's wall, the novel in the Oval Office, the music in Stephen Hawking's headphones, the broken string on your guitar, the anxiety of a fourth grade clarinet player, graphite hues on a sketch pad, the rhythm in a congressman's knee, the defiance in Malala's voice, the space bar of a programmer, the blood on a doctor's shoes, the fear of mediocrity, the wake of a milestone, the call to prayer at dawn, a callus of devotion, the march of a million men, church bells on a Sunday, a salute at the Olympics, the hips of mother nature, the chalk on a teacher's hands, a body of work accomplished, the song in your head, beers around the campfire, fists behind the bonfire, the silence of a ceasefire. What we want to be is an inspiration. <laughs>